Understanding Protease Structure and Function. Pause text and illustrations for detailed study. Peptides consist of a class of compounds yielding two or more amino acids, resulting from hydrolysis. These protein constituents are formed by the loss of water from the amine and carboxyl groups of adjacent amino acids. Amino acids are a set of 20 different molecules used to build proteins. Proteins consist of one or more chains of amino acids called polypeptides. The sequence of the amino acid chain causes the polypeptide to fold into a shape that is biologically active. The amino acid sequences of proteins are encoded in the genes. The length amino acid chain folds into a final shape determining its function in the cell. A peptide is one or more amino acids linked by chemical bonds. The term also refers to the type of chemical bond that joins the amino acids together. A series of linked amino acids is a polypeptide. The cell's proteins are made from one or more polypeptides. three-dimensional protease image. Examples of protease function in human immunodeficiency virus. HIV. A protease, also referred to as peptidase or proteinase, is a type of enzyme that breaks down proteins into smaller proteins or smaller protein units, such as peptides or amino acids. The HIV protease cuts up large precursor proteins into smaller proteins. The smaller proteins combine with HIV's genetic material to form a new HIV virus. On the other hand, protease inhibitors, PIs, prevent HIV from replicating by blocking protease. The proteases enzymatically function in the breakdown of proteins, being endopeptidase and exopeptidase hydrolase class enzymes respectively, cleaving internal bonds of a polypeptide or protein, or catalyzing peptide bond hydrolysis in a peptide chain releasing a smaller amino acid. Proteolysis consists of the enzymatic breakdown of proteins or peptides into amino acids. Proteases
catalyze hydrolytic reactions that by essence are irreversible. Protease catalytic classes are classified by groups on the basis of the involved catalytic mechanisms and the residues involved at their specific sites. Aspartic acid proteases function using an aspartate carboxylic acid. Cysteine proteases function using a cysteine thiol. Glutamic acid proteases function using a glutamic carboxylic acid. Metalloproteases function using a metal that is generally zinc. Serine proteases function using a serine alcohol. Threonine proteases function using a threonine secondary alcohol. Asparagine peptide lyase using an asparagine in an elimination reaction not requiring water. The particular families of proteases corresponding to each catalytic class possess associated numbers. Examples G1 and G2 are glutamic proteases representing the corresponding individual protease. The total protease complement of an organism under consideration is referred to as a degradome. Particular proteases perform specific enzymatic functions in various species. Proteases can join their catalytic domains to various functional domains or molecules playing a role in substrate specificity, the changing of their kinetic characteristics, the modification of their sensitivity to endogenous inhibition, as well as the determination of their cellular localization. Such domains are non-catalytic, comprising typical sorting signals directing the enzymes to a designated location functioning as auto-inhibiting prodomains that prevent premature activation, as well as supportive domains facilitating homotypic or heterotypic interactions or contacts, respectively, with different inhibitors, proteins, receptors, or substrates. Four groups of protease inhibitors and their mechanisms of action. Canonical inhibitors block the target protease active site by means of substrate-like binding. An example are the serpents that are serin protease inhibitors. Exocyte binding inhibitors bind the region next to an active site, preventing substrate access to this location while not directly blocking catalytic residues. Examples are cystatins and various thrombin inhibitors. The third group includes tissue inhibitors of metalloproteases, which function by means of an intermediary mechanism of canonical and exocyte binding mechanisms. Allosteric inhibitors bind regions distant from the active site whose binding prevents target protease dimerization, blocking its activity. An example is the X-linked inhibitor of apoptosis protein being a caspase inhibitor. An example of protease inhibition in a human immunodeficiency virus. In this example, protease inhibitors are antiretroviral HIV drug class. They block protease and HIV enzyme. By blocking protease, they prevent new mature HIV from becoming a mature virus that can infect other CD4 cells. HIV protease with the protease inhibitor Ritonavir bound in its active site. Ritonavir is depicted with a white molecule within the enzyme structure. Protease inhibitors are antiviral drugs that specifically prevent the 
replication of viruses by selectively binding to viral proteases, blocking the proteolytic cleavage of the protein precursors essential to infectious viral particle formation. These synthetic drugs inhibit the action of the virus protease by cleaving its precursor proteins into smaller fragments, which as previously intact entities would be essential to the growth, infectivity, and reproduction of the virus. They bind to the active site of the protease, preventing maturation of new virions, rendering them incapable of infecting other host cells. A protease inhibitor is classified according to the protease it inhibits or its mechanism of action. An example is ritonavir that prevents the human immunodeficiency retrovirus from multiplying and infecting host cells by inhibiting HIV protease. Proteases function in the digestion of long amino acid chains into shorter protein fragments via the splitting of the peptide bonds linking the amino acid residues. Since proteases are proteins, they are capable of being cleaved by other proteases. Proteases are capable of detaching terminal amino acids from the peptide chain, as in the case of the exopeptidase. The endopeptidases attack the internal peptide bonds of the protein. Protein catalysis occurs when aspartic acid, glutamic acid, and the metalloproteases activate a water molecule by means of hydrolysis in a neutrophilic attack. Catalysis also occurs when a neutrophilic residue, often in a catalytic triad, used by cysteine, serine, and threonine proteases neutrophilically attack, covalently linking the protease to the substrate protein for the release of the primary half of the product. A covalent acyl enzyme intermediate hydrolyzed by activated water finishes the catalytic process, releasing the other half of the product. Free enzyme regeneration also results. The protease genome is capable of continuing evolution and the acquisition of functional diversity. These enzymes play a role in numerous biological functions such as apoptosis pathways, blood clotting, cascade reactions, the complement system, digestion of, pro of ingested proteins, the catabolism of old proteins, cell signaling, viral protease cleavage for functional viral particle production, protein folding in bacteria, the carbon and nitrogen cycle in bacteria and fungi, as well as photosynthesis in plants. New presentations coming soon.